finally got it. I got the pilot. I've been wanting since last October. <laughs> Hello guys, this is a very fun video and I'm very excited about this video. Oh my god, I can't believe I already had this pilot. Ooh, I've already had it about a month, but <laughs> I haven't actually used it yet. Um, this is going to be my first impressions using my Lunar Beauty moon spell palette i can't believe i'm saying my on this palette i've been wanting this palette since it launched and i've just kept not buying it then i panicked thinking it might go out of stock and i'll be devastated forever and always so i bought it um <laughs> because i've no control i also bought the liquid lipsticks that go with the red um witch bitch and wicked and um, which is a black and um, i don't know if i'm going to use them in the with this palette i may use one of them with the palette but actually i probably will use one of them with the palette but i I'm probably definitely going to use them with like my Halloween looks in general. Um, yeah. Oh, and welcome to spooky season, by the way. Yeah, we're officially in October. I know my last Halloween video started at the end of September. Um, we're officially in October. It's spooky season. It's my time to shine. Um, loving it. I know I have like no Halloween decorations. I actually should really get some, shouldn't I? Gonna look into that try and make it a bit spooky back there um but this is our moon spell palette this is beautiful and stunning and there's a fly do not go into my lens thank you um <laughs> this is by an M manny emmyway and um, it's on beauty bay is where i ordered it from it was 59 euros so i don't know what that is in any other currency but yeah this is how it looks it looks like a spell book look at the cover oh, oh my god i know um and you open it like this. it's got like a fake clasp here it looks like a book that's the back of the book oh it's just so witchy and beautiful and all the names of the shadows are inspired by witches they're all it's all called after a witch of some sort from some sort of movie or tv show all your favorites are probably in here because mine are um so yeah this is so stunning i used how many did I use for this look? Is one, two, three, four, five, six shades for this look, and I will be using every color between this video and my three looks on palette that I'm going to be doing. But this is how it looks here. It's a bit of a colorful, like color story, which I really like. But they're still muted, and they're actually quite interesting colors. So you've got purpley tones. You've got more kind of nudish, kind of wear wearable tones, and then beautiful green colors on the bottom here. Um, a decent mix of textures so you've got what did I count eight mattes you've got seven shimmers two of which are kind of like a satin metallic kind of finish I'll explain that when we get to it um, and then the others are more like quite sparkly sort of tones and you'll see that there is a good bit of fallout which you'll see in this video and um, I would recommend doing your eyes first if you can help or just not doing your under eye concealer or anything like that um, particularly for so in this look I used the shade Samantha that was one that gave me a lot of fallout more so than any, any other colour just something to know but yeah there's something on my lip there we go um, yeah just something to know so what I'm going to do now is we're going to get into some swatches for this like I said I will have a two looks three looks on palette sorry keep saying two three looks on palette coming up using this palette in October and um, it'll be part of my Halloween sort of looks and yeah let's get into swatches because it's gonna be fun I've only swatched this I've this is the first time I ever used it and I've only ever swatched it before that so let's get into some swatches so like always I am gonna be doing my swatches on my arm I know people prefer eye swatches but I'm not doing that because god love my eyes I can't I just can't I couldn't bring myself to do it so I'm gonna do some swatches with a finger and um, no primer anything like that we're gonna swatch all the colors and you'll see all the colors in action in my looks anyway so it makes no difference really um this is where we're gonna do it so we're gonna start up here with the shade prue we're gonna finish with the shade fiona and we're gonna work along that way and i'll try and describe the colors as best i can so let's get into it so this shade prue i have on my inner corner i will be using this as a focal color this one i would say is definitely a topper um there's not a whole lot of base pigment to it but it is stunning on the eye it's definitely a beautiful kind of a lilac to pink duochrome the shimmer in it is pink and it's just really nice really pretty um again i don't know where all the references are from i know where some of them are from but not every single one of them so if you do know and want to give me some reference let me know in the comments down below i'd be much appreciated to learn where all these names come from the next shade up here is piper this is one of those what i would say a shat shatin satin metallic and um, so it's not quite satin to where it's 
not a lot of shine. There is a good bit of shine to it, but it's a very smooth sort of feel to it, if that makes any sort of sense. Oh, I think I I think this and one other shade could be my favourite in the palette. This is so beautiful. I have such a really nice look planned for this. Um, the texture is beautiful. It's like just shiny enough for me to not be disappointing, but it's such a beautiful colour. The pigment is so rich. It's so beautiful. It goes on really nice. I'm hoping that there's not a lot of fallout from this. I think it's going to be a really nice colour. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say what it is. It's kind of like a berry sort of colour, like a berry pink purple kind of colour. More pink though. So yeah, he's really nice. Then the next shade is Phoebe. I have this on my lower lash line on this look I'm wearing right now. This is Phoebe and it is basically the same sort of colour as this or the same sort of colour as the shade Page, which is like a pinky purple with a blue violet um, shift to it. This is not so much a topper shade where the first one was. This one definitely has a lot more of a base pigment to it, but it's just a very pretty base pigment. And yeah, I just feel like they all go really well together. So I like that. Second last on this row then is going to be Paige. This is a match. This is what I have on the inner crease on my eye here. It's a pink purple mix. So it's a nice balance between the two shades and it's a matte. So it goes really nice with the other pinks and purples um, in the palette. And then we've got a nice one to deepen as well. So you get a nice, it's like a transition shade for pink and purple. So it's very pretty. And um, yes, so that's Paige. I said all the other names, didn't I? Next one then is Sabrina which we should all know. And this is more of a violet-y kind of purple, more of a true purple actually, I would say more so than violet. Um, it's just a beautiful bright purple. Like it swatches really nice for a purple. Go back and watch my Three Looks on palette with my Huda Desert Dusk. Oh my God, the purple in that, like the, the one bright, bright color in that, or one of the few bright colors in that palette. It's atrocious. This is stunning. Let me do another coat so you can see how it builds up. Tell me that's not beautiful. That's beautiful. Oh my god. I'm definitely going to be using that as well. Um, and Sabrina obviously is Sabrina Teenage Witch or Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. I'm more Sabrina Teenage Witch because I always wanted to be her when I was older. Moving on to the second row then. We're getting into more neutral shades and the first three here are for me quite infamous witches. They are the Sanderson sisters. If you have not seen Hocus Pocus, wear have you been? Go watch it. Oh my god. It's the most Halloween-y Halloween movie. The first shade is Winifred. Winifred Sanderson. It is not a colour I would have put there as her colour. I would have either gone green, if it was me, or like an orangey red, if that makes sense. Because her hair is an orangey red, but her outfit is always green. Um, Sarah, I feel like, does work quite well. Mary, again, I would have maybe done red because her outfit is red. Her hair is like, like black, so... You could have put a black in actually with this palette would have worked quite well but yeah that's the way i would have done it now but whatever i did use this look as my transit or this shade as my transition shade it works so well it's so nice and warm i mean the warmth is there for her hair if you want to say that but yeah it's really pretty really nice it's a really nice good color leaning on the mustard side of brown which i feel like goes well to give this more of a look at my hand i, I wipe it in my hand to get off my finger and um, it Gives it almost that murky, grungy sort of look for a witchy palette, which I really like. Next up then is Sarah, which is like a mauve sort of colour. Almost a grey. Let me just... Yeah, it's it's more of like a mauve grey. Like a greyish sort of shade. Very pretty. Love this kind of colour. It's so my kind of colour. I love it. And her outfit, she's blonde. So that's why I always wanted to be Sarah. But I'm definitely more of a Winifred. But yeah, her clothes are that kind of like mauve sort of tone. So I can see where this kind of comes into it. And it's a beautiful colour to go with and blend out any of these colours and neutralise certain things as well. Next up then is Mary. And this is like a... What, what way would I describe this colour? Kind of like a foresty khaki green shimmer. I'd imagine I'll probably get some follow from this because it's the same kind of texture as the one I have on my lid. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like a khaki shimmer, a bit of a foresty green. It's pretty, don't know why it's that colour for Mary, but it is. Um, but yeah, so they're the three Sanderson sisters. They're like my faves. Then next is Samantha, which I have on my lid right now. And I'm pretty sure, is Samantha 
from Bewitched. Is that, am I saying that right? I'm not sure. But it's kind of like a rosy shimmer. And this is the one that gave me a lot of fallout. So just be warned. But it's stunning and totally worth the fallout. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, it's so nice. So pretty. It just goes on. You can make it more pink if you paired it with these guys. You can make it more neutral, which I kind of did. But I still paired it with some pink. So it's a nice balance between the two. Very nice. And then lastly in this row, this is Kiki. I did use this on this look to deepen it up. And I think this matte brown is beautiful because it'll work with a lot of them um, to deepen them up. Whoa, that didn't swatch well. But it's a stunning colour nonetheless. There we go, that's a bit better. Not the best of swatching. This one feels a bit more tightly packed in the pan. But you will see it works beautifully. I've had no patchiness, no nothing on the eye. So that's fabulous. Next up then is probably the most famous, which is Hermione. And you wouldn't think, oh, well, Hermione's a witch. She is a witch, obviously. Everyone knows she's a witch, but you wouldn't put her with these witches, I wouldn't say. Um, this is a beautiful gold, kind of matches the Winifred shade, but in a shimmer. I think it's kind of to go with her hair kind of colour or something like that. Yeah, it's a gorgeous gold. This again also is a little bit more tightly packed than, say, the Samantha shade is and the other shimmers. But you can build it up with a bit of glitter primer, it'll always help it along. So yeah, not the best swatches for those last two, but we'll get there. We will be using, hopefully be using that shade in one of the looks anyway, so you'll see that. Next up then is my other favourite shade, or I'm going to say I have three favourite shades. So the first one is Piper, this next one Bunny is also my favourite shade because it's a bright lime green. And I can't help myself, I would love a lime green shimmer in this palette, just saying. But, you know, a lime green matte will do. Um... So this is Bunny. Don't know the reference for that one. That goes on beautifully. Build it up a little bit just to see how it goes. Oh yeah. Wow, okay, yeah. That's really nice. For me and my standard of lime green, that's beautiful. I love that. I think that's so pretty. And you'll see that used as well. Next up then is Marnie. And Marnie is from Halloween Town. Also a good spooky kind of movie to watch. That's quite fun. Um, it's a Disney movie and it's very fun. That's also on my list this year, actually. I haven't watched it in a million years. But this is like a... I wouldn't say it's a khaki green. I would say it's an army green. If if you can decipher between those in your head the way I do. I'm not sure if you will. Um, there is a bit more green in that than khaki for me. But yeah, I think it's going to be really pretty with the idea that I have in my head. I'm hoping it turns out okay. So yeah, he's really nice. Goes really, really well with that lime green as well. Fabulous. Next up then is Nancy. I don't know the reference over this. I'm assuming Nancy might be from the craft. I, I'm not sure. Um, You can correct me. I, I have no idea. So this is like a bright matte teal. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, these kind of greens looked a lot lighter in the picture. So be warned that they are slightly deeper or slightly more muted than the picture might show. Because to me, the picture almost leaned on bright and pastel, where this is actually a bit deeper and colourful. And it's beautiful and that green is stunning. And then the last shade is my third favourite shade in the palette. This is Fiona. Again, I don't really know where that reference comes from. Maybe from American Horror Story, because there is Fiona in the coven season, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, this is a brilliant teal. Is it a bit of a duochrome? It's a little bit of a teal duochrome i'm just layering it up here just so i can see what i'm doing there we go so yeah nice and deep beautiful stunning color i cannot wait to use that shade and that is the same sort of texture as the piper shade which is that it's like metallic but super soft metallic if that makes sense it's stunning i can't wait to use it it's a different kind of formula than what everyone i think is used to but it's so so nice so those are all of our beautiful swatches for our stunning palette you can see them so nice so excited to get into all of my looks for this my three looks on palette one palette i'm very excited i just came up with all my looks for i do like to pre-plan my looks i don't know why i'm a weirdo like that why am i not on focus um yeah so that is what i'm very excited about and i have another palette that i will be featuring this month as well because it definitely goes with the theme of halloween and i'm so happy halloween is here i'm so excited so this is the look here if you want to see how i got this look then keep on watching 
Alrighty guys, we have no eye makeup on. I do have my skin, my foundation, concealer, brows and some eyeshadow primer on. I will have it all listed down below like normal so you can see. But welcome to spooky season. I probably already said that in the beginning, but I'm filming this first. So so I had a bit of a think about what I wanted to do today. What I'm feeling is actually a little bit on the neutral side with a bit of a pop of colour. Um, so what I'm thinking of doing is using the two browns, the two kind of matte browns, the lighter and the deeper. Then I want to use the shade Samantha, which is like a pink shimmer like a soft pink shimmer dusty rose kind of shimmer um but i think i want to do page kind of brought up into the inner crease that's going to be on the lid and then i might do is it phoebe i want to do i think it might be it's either gonna be phoebe or piper on the lower lash line to go with this but i think it might be phoebe because it'll go better with that i'm not sure we'll play along and we'll see how we go on so that is what I want to do. Let me zoom you in a little bit so we can actually see what we're doing. So let me get a 217 from MAC, like this guy. And we're going to go into the shade Winifred. And you can't have a witchy palette without the name Winifred because she is Winifred Sanderson. All the Sanderson sisters are in this palette, which I will be using all of their colours. Um, I'll be pretty much using every colour as far as I can think of between this video and my three looks one palette. Um, I will be using every one. So this shade Winifred, ooh, it's quite warm actually, warmer than I thought it was gonna be. It has a good bit of orange in it, which I'm not mad about. It's fine. And he is just gonna go, or she, we're gonna call him she. She is just gonna go into the crease, but just leave a gap there. Because I wanna do my little pop of color in there and a little pop on the lower lash line as well. I was just kinda gonna do it like a neutral kind of look but then I was like oh, I have to add something to it because it's not really me okay I'm gonna work on my lower lash line separately as far as I can see we're gonna go into the shade Kiki I've no I don't understand the reference for this one Um, I know that all the names are witchy witchy names so I'm assuming it's a witch of some sort from something but I don't actually know so you can let me know in the comments down below what it is I'm just picking that up on a MAC 221 brush which is like a skinnier longer kind of blending brush and this is just going to go and deepen the outer corner and then just when you've got a little bit less on the brush bring it into the crease just leave a bit of control imagine if i just did like a neutral look for this that that would be so not me especially for witchy season for spooky season for halloween so so in halloween mode right now Okay, so before we do any sort of shimmers on the lid or anything like that, I do want to add my little pop of pink. Um, we're going to go into the shade Page, which is the lighter of the matte purples. Um, how many mattes are there in this? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a good mix. I do like that. It's actually pretty even split almost because 15 shades in the palette, seven shimmers. Yeah, and they're some are more sparkly than others. So yeah, it's a nice little mix of colours. So we're going to take this shade Page, which is a beautiful, like bright purpley pink on a clean 221 i just have another one so i just i'm using that one and it's just gonna go on that inner crease in here just, just something a bit weird just felt like adding it in and i'm gonna just slowly blend it up until i'm happy i might bring it all the way up to my brow i may not i'm not sure yet we'll just go and go and go and I just keep deepening it right in the crease and then slowly bring it up just so you're getting still getting a nice bit of depth in that inner crease. I'm blending it into the brown a little bit. Just that there's a nice kind of fade between the two, it doesn't just stop. Okay, a bit weird, but yeah, why not? So now what I'm going to do is take my NYX glitter primer. Yes, I know some people think that it's cheating putting a glitter primer on in first impressions, but I use glitter primer for all my shimmers nowadays. So it's just the way it is. I just think I want my looks to look super nice. So why not? And sometimes some shimmers don't perform as well over glitter primer. So it's actually a good little test as well. But with these sorts of ones, some of the shimmers in this, they kind of almost some are like smooth and shimmery and then some are like sparkly and shimmery so there is a difference and the one that i'm using is one of the kind of more like classic sparkly shimmery the other ones are more like almost like the way a satin feels but with a really nice shine off it but not quite metallic you know what i mean it's not that far so 
So far I'm also not seeing any fall down that I can notice really, so that's pretty good. I'm just gonna take any bit of glitter permanent that was on the back of my hand left, like there's actually none there, it's just the residue that's left. I just popped a little bit on my brush just to pick up the product so I don't get any fall down. And then we're gonna go in to the shade Samantha, which is that kind of rosy shimmer. Looks like it's gonna give me fallout, so I'm not actually sure, but let's just see how we go. This is gonna go on the lid. Oh, he's pretty. She's pretty. She is pretty. And I'm bringing that all along, all the way in to the inner portion of the lid. And then, not doing a cook crease or nothing. Yeah, there is follow from this. It's the, there are those kind of shimmers that will give a little bit of follow, but I don't hate it. It's not a big deal. It's only some follow. You can always clean it or. Do your eyes first. What I'm gonna do now is take my 221 brush, the shade Kiki on it, take a tiny little dab of that again, and we're just gonna use that to tap over this outer part here, just to help it blend into that shimmer. They do blend quite easy, so yeah. I'm, I'm quite happy with how they're going on. I'm happy enough with using the palette. It's not like it's a, it's a hard thing to use. Okay, and then I'm going back in with the brush that I use with the pink, the shade Page. Taking a little bit more of that colour as well. And then over where it meets that shimmer on the lid, just blend right on the line. Just to help it kind of fade into each other. It'll kind of add a bit of pink to the shimmer as well, just in that little area. But it'll just give us a nice, a more kind of seamless fade. Okay, I don't think I'm going to clean up my fallout just yet. I think what I'm going to do is actually work on my lower lash line because I already have some under eye concealer on. Because the other shimmer that I want to use also has a similar sort of texture. So I don't want to like keep cleaning up my under eyes and just loading my skin with a lot of product. So let's do the lower lash line. So what I'm going to do for that is take a 214 from MAC, my little small best friend, my little stubby brush. We're going to go into the shade Kiki again, which is the dark brown. And that is going to go along the lower lash line. Are you guys excited for my like full on Halloween looks coming up? Because I have my costume looks coming up like something like to actually dress up as. Then I've got like my Halloween like looks kind of like where it might it'll just be kind of like eyes and lips and it'll just be like themed Halloween, but it won't actually be like a costume. Um, oh, by the way, I'm leaving a gap, like about a third of a gap. On the lower lash line um but yeah i'm doing that and i'm also doing a three looks on palette with this because this is kind of a spooky sort of palette um and my classic horror from la splash as well i'm gonna be doing that but now i'm gonna go back in with the shade winifred and i'm gonna take my 217 just because i want it nice and blown out along the lower lash line and we're just going to use that to soften the edge of that brown Just to give us a bit more of a smoky kind of look and also match the top as per usual. I, I say a lot of things over and over again like match the top, connect it to the outer corner, all that kind of stuff. But it's all part of the process. Okay, so much for leaving a third of a gap, but anyway, whatever, we're going to do this now. So I'm going to take a small little bit more of my glitter primer, um, just a little bit, we don't need much of it. And I'm going to take a small little brush, this is a MAC 211. It's like a little, could be a liner, could be a lip brush, whichever you want to use. But I just want to use it for a bit of detail work. Taking a little bit of that primer on the brush. And then that is just going to go on that little gap. Okay, so yeah, I think I'm going to use the shade Phoebe instead of Piper. Um, where is he now? Here, the third one in. Um, because it kind of has some like bluey kind of flex, which I quite like the look of. And it kind of matches that pink that we have up top. The base colour of it matches that a bit better. Um, so, yeah. This is just going to go over that glitter primer. Oh yeah, that ties it in quite nice. Because the pink is a bit random on the lid. Like in the crease. Um, just kind of chilling there with all the neutrals. But with this now on the lower lash line, it kind of ties it in nicely. So before I use do anything with my under eyes, I'm going to take the shade Prue which is kind of the very pale lilac, kind of duochrome iridescent. 
Um, this one that I put on here, the shade Piper. No, Phoebe. Did I say Piper for that? I meant Phoebe. Yes, Phoebe is that shimmer shade I just used. Um, it's like a that pinky kind of purpley base colour with a blue reflex to it. And then this one's like a lilac with a pink reflex to it. And he is just going to go on the inner corner. Okay, so that is the eyes done. I'm... I'm liking it, I'm liking it, I'm liking the palette, I like the colours, I think they're really nice. I'm going to tidy up my under eyes, I'm going to finish my face I think actually. Um, I might come back and I do my cheeks with you guys, I'm not sure, but I'm going to do a little bit more skin, put my liner and lashes and all that kind of stuff on, and I can decide then as I go, I might come back full, fully done or almost done, and we can do it together, we'll see. So yeah, see you in a sec. Alrighty guys, so that is our finished look using, my hair is like flying everywhere, um, that is the finished look using our Moonspell palette from Lunar Beauty, my baby now, this is like, oh, I love this. Um, it's so stunning, this look turned out really nice, you'll see the swatches at the beginning um, to see all the colours, but I will be using pretty much, as far as I can see, every colour because I've kind of planned out my looks. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to get more use out of this. I'm excited for my three looks on palette. I'm excited that it's more spooky themed, which I love. Please make a brands come out with Halloween collections. That's what we want. Like us spooky gals want our Halloween collections. Love me Christmas. Love me ho 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 Halloween or holiday releases, but give me a Halloween release. Give me a spooky palette. Give me some green and purple and orange and black together. Oh so nice some murky sort of colors oh yes i'm so in that mood right now oh am i watch a horror movie tonight oh <laughs> um well, I'm, i am gonna watch a horror movie tonight but still so that is the look this is the look and um, this is the palette it's stunning i'm so happy with it i'm so happy i finally bought it i'm so happy i finally bit the bullet to buy it i think the look turned out really well i love the colors i love how the pigment turned out the way the colors performed was really nice I just really like this palette. I can't really gush anymore. I did enough research to know I'm probably gonna like this. So yeah, um, that is the video. Give me a big thumbs up down below and let me know in the comments who is your favorite witch in a witchy movie. So yeah, let me know that down below and subscribe down below to see all my Halloween videos coming up. I'll have one posted either could be tomorrow, it could be the day after tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure, but it is coming up in a day or two. Um, and I think it's my first costume look, as far as I can see, in my schedule, as far as I can remember. So yeah, that is coming up. Hit subscribe down below to see all that. And then after that, if you're not into spooky stuff, we've got Christmas stuff coming up, woohoo. So yeah, I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye.